Hey loves and welcome back to Life with Chakisha. It is your girl and we are here for another wine related video. So if you want to see what wine we're drinking today, keep watching. All right, you guys, so you already know what today is. It is what? Wind Down Wednesday. Yes, happy Wind Down Wednesday to all of my sisters, my wine friends, all of my peoples that love all things wine. Welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time watching a Wind Down Wednesday video or just first time watching any of my videos, make sure you do me a big favor and go ahead and click that subscribe button that notification bell and as well go ahead and give me a thumbs up that way you'll be a part of this family so let's go ahead and get straight into today's wine all right so if you saw the title of the video as well as the thumbnail you know we are doing a jam jar sweet syrahs and i've been wanting to try this particular jam jar wine for a minute um i was watching um black girls wine society's um live wine down wednesdays and they were doing some wines and one of her um, viewers was mentioning the Sweet Syrahs by Jam Jar. So I was like, hmm, let me try it. Because typically I shy away from Syrahs um, because it can be a little bold or acidic, at least in my um, opinion. So I decided to give it a, you know, a try, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, trying to have a balance of sweet wines and as well as some more bolder um drier wines on this channel so we all can be able to say that we've tried something new so today we're going to do the jam jar sweet syrahs this vintage is a 2021 so this was newly harvested and we're going to kind of get into a little bit of the details about syrahs and i'm going to reference my phone so if you see me looking in other places is because I want to make sure I'm giving y'all all the information. So, first of all, Syrahs is also known as Syrah, and um, it's a darker skinned grape. Um, it almost reminds me of the grapes that used to be in my neighbor's backyard. They look really round and they're really like a bluish kind of purpley look. And I'll leave a photograph of that grape as well as the details about the grape because it's not just about sipping on here it's about getting a little bit of knowledge and learning what you're drinking so jam jar um i got this from fresh market i'm in richmond virginia so i typically find jam jar at most of my fresh market um locations i'm pretty sure you can find it everywhere but i will also leave a link to the jam jar website so you can check them out yourself all right, so let's go ahead and get into the wine details. You all know that I love a good bottle of wine that has the wine details, especially when you're trying something new. It gives you the opportunity to kind of read about the notes that they're using and the flavors that they have in that wine. So if you're unsure whether or not you want to try it or not, at least it kind of gives you a little hint of the flavors that you should taste when you're trying this wine. So this is the bottle. Uh, let me get it in frame turn it around Keisha so it's really simple jam jar it has the red um, name the vintage and it has this little cute little pattern on the bottle it also has a label on here that says that integrity and in, its integrity and suitability certified and so anytime you get wines that are certified or anything like that it's always a good look so on the back of this bottle, these are all the details that it gives you. It gives you the name of the wine, which is a Sweet Syrahs, and again with the um, vintage of 2021. And again, the vintage is the year that the grape was harvested, not the age of the wine itself. <laughs> so this states that it is packed with juicy berry flavors and hints of dark chocolate jam jar makes a versatile partner for everything from cheeseburgers to chocolate pudding and you know i like that because you know the sims family we do cheeseburgers all the time around these parts so i'm kind of hoping we might have a cheeseburger tonight 
dinner is already always a surprise but whatever we eat with this tonight i will let you know how it pairs because i try to also not only just drink it by itself i always try to drink a wine with some food because like i said in last week's video when you're drinking wines alone they have one taste but then when you pair it with a food or a dessert or a cheese board or a meat tray whatever you're pairing it with it can take on a whole nother taste and it can bring forward some of those additional fruits or tannins that you may not have tasted when you were drinking it by themselves but along with something that you pair it with you may taste it as well all right so it goes into saying that this was bottled in south africa and it is a red wine of origin of the western cape so i like that it gives you a little bit of history of where the wine was produced at this does have a abv of 12.5 percent percent which is the alcohol by uh, volume and that is fairly low for a red wine but because it has sweetness again from my wine journey i've realized that white wines and sweeter wines always have a lower alcohol level or percentage so we're gonna go ahead and open this up because i'm gonna try not to be before you long i like on the top where it says sweet perfection simple pure and honest so this is a twist top but don't let the twist top fool you so we're gonna go ahead and open this and don't mind my nail it just broke today so we always twist from the neck not from the top because you know sometimes it's not perforated so when you twist it you don't want to have that struggle so we just gonna twist from the neck easy peasy okay so let's go ahead and smell it in the bottle this is something new that i've been doing just so i can get that first smell before i pour so let's go ahead and smell oh i can definitely smell like really bold berry 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 like it almost has like a bold blueberry smell So let's go ahead and pour. Beautiful color. Ding. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do what? Yes, we're gonna swirl. We're gonna swirl that baby so we can go ahead and open up the wine. And also so we can check out the legs on that glass. You know what I'm saying? We wanna see how leggy she is. And, you know, we know it's not going to be too leggy because of the 12.5. So, let's go ahead and just... And so, let's talk about the spin. Last week, I had a different shape wine glass. And it was a struggle trying to swirl. But look how easy this joint is swirling. It's just like hula hooping. Hula hoop, hula hoop. <laughs> yes, we want to get a good hula hoop spin on that wine. All right, so... Let me move my hand. I think you can see it better without my hand behind it. So see how it's just going all the way down super fast. So that means that the alcohol content is not that high. Um, yeah, it's going down really fast. We call them either the tears of the glass or the legs. Um, but basically the technical term is the meniscus that forms and then that goes down so now that we you know hula hoop that glass a little a lot get our little workout in there look at it just look at the the color the color is gorgeous let me move my hand like it's so dark in color it almost looks black but it has like a garnet type color the halo around it is pretty thin so it's probably a younger grape um let me see if i can find some white paper because i really want you to see how ruby ish this color is i don't know if you can see this i don't know if this like the camera is not giving it any justice today but this is so pretty oh my gosh i'm like fangirling over here so now that we swirl, we're going to go ahead and smell it. 
so we can see if we're smelling any other type of berries. Right now, I'm just smelling really bold, sweet blueberries. I feel like it's some raspberry in there. And you know what? I'm almost kind of sensing blackberry. And I could be wrong because I'm, I don't eat blackberries a lot. But it's giving me blackberry. Especially with the color. It definitely smells very good. <laughs> No pun intended. So now that we've swirled and we've smelled, it's time for our favorite part. We're going to sip. So we're going to sip the regular way. And then we're going to sip the wine enthusiast way. Okay? So let's go ahead and sip. Mmm. Wow. I love it. I love it. If you are a sweet wine drinker and you want to have a red wine in your arsenal this is it and if you are a red wine drinker that isn't big on sweet this is it i feel like just like how we every girl has a black dress <laughs> like i feel like you should have every type of wine in your wine fridge or cabinets um especially if you entertain um and this one right here, I barely took in the sip and that joint hit me like, hey, hey, hey. So let me take this. Let me, let me, let me. Slow down, Keisha. I done got hype. I done got hypey. I done got hypey off the wine, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me. Okay. Let me sip it again. Hold on. <laughs> I really like this. Like. It definitely, definitely lives up to the, the company name of Jam Jar. Like, it is like a jar of jam, but it's just right. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like having a piece of toast with the right grape jelly, where it doesn't take, like, you can taste the grapes. You like you don't taste that sugary, you know. That's what it's giving me, like grape jelly on some warm toast with some peanut butter. Now it don't taste like peanut butter, but that's what it's giving me. It's like that nice blend. Oh, you guys, this is good. Please try it. I mean, like y'all don't be giving me any feedback in the comments, so I don't be knowing how y'all feel when I recommend these wines. But baby, oh, this joint is good. <laughs> Look, ring the bell. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. I think my son would like this because he's not into like Cabernet Sauvignons and Pinot Noirs. He more so likes uh, uh, like Stella Rosa and stuff like that. But I think he'll like this. Like, this will kind of step him up a notch. I might give him a bottle um, when we do the gender reveal um, in a couple of weeks. Yes. Okay. Then, now, look. Okay. Shh. Now, let's sip it the wine enthusiast way. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I definitely get that blueberry when I do that. Definitely. So this definitely has to have... I was trying to look up the wine notes to see if it said exactly what fruits it had in there. Let's see if I can... It doesn't say... Let me see. We're going to research this because I got to know what berries. Because it could be even some... Berries can range anywhere from strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. 
and I'm not getting strawberry. I'm getting all the dark berries and maybe out of all, maybe the raspberry. Let me, let me see if I can find that out. Hold on, please. Hold, please. Okay. I hit the nail on the head. The nail on the head. I'm sorry. Okay, so it says that it is semi-sweet. So that's the word that I be looking for. Like, I be trying to find a, a descriptor that describes the level of sweetness. And semi-sweet, I'm going to have to remember that in my wine database. So it has blueberries, blackberries, and red um, raspberries, and a dark chocolate undertone. And I can taste, like, I wanted to say chocolate. Or either like some type of cocoa, but you guys, you guys, you guys, this is it. Mm. This is really good. Semi-sweet. Semi-sweet. I believe that this will be a hit for all wine lovers, all wine drinkers all wine enthusiasts whatever level of wine lo lover you are i think this will win for everyone like this is really good really good so good like i gotta slow myself down now the recommending serving it doesn't have the temperature on here but it does recommend to serve it chill and I definitely agree with that. Like, I wouldn't serve at room temperature like you would do your regular wine, red wine. Um, because I feel like it might take away from all the flavors. Um, and we, you know what? I take that back. You could probably drink this room temperature. But it says serve chill. So, definitely not ice cold. So, what I did was I had it in the refrigerator all day since I got it. And then I took it out like about an hour before I poured it. And it's perfect. Um, it's probably gotten a little bit warmer now. So I've been sitting here and the sun is beaming through my um, window. But it tastes really, really good. I would not serve it cold. Chill. So maybe if you want to keep it chill, get you like an ice bucket and keep it in the ice bucket. Um, but I would say definitely do not drink it straight out the refrigerator because you're going to miss all of those flavors that I mentioned. This is very fruit forward, but not in a sweet fashion. So I would definitely be getting more of these and I will definitely link all of the places where you can purchase this. Um, again, I'm in Virginia, so I can only link, you know, the places that I know of in Virginia okay i was having a little bit of technical difficulties hopefully i can close this video out hopefully my lighting is okay but you guys definitely let me know in the comments if you tried this sweet syrahs by jam jar um if you're sipping it with me leave in the comments how you're feeling about this drink and all of that good thing stuff um and let me know um also, let me know if you tried any other of the jam jar wines. But this one right here, it just makes me wanna. All right, I ain't even gonna do it. I ain't even gonna do it. <laughs> but this makes me wanna dance for real in my merry voice. So, anyway, so I really enjoyed this wine. I would really highly recommend that you try it. Again, it has a semi sweet, so it's not a Moscato sweet. Like, I have to use Moscato as a gauge because I feel like Moscato is just sweet. It's just sweet by itself. Like, you know, no flavors, no nothing. Moscato is by itself, in my opinion, is sweet. It's not a Moscato sweet. It almost reminds me of a sweetness level. If you've ever tried a Lambrusco, that's another red wine. That has a sweet taste to it, but I don't think it's as sweet as Lambrusco, but I could be wrong because it's been a while since I've had Lambrusco, um, but um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this and pour me another glass and hopefully, more than likely, we're either going to have cheeseburgers or pizza. I just know it. 
And so, you know, cheese and then the pepperoni is beef. So it's kind of give a hamburger-esque, hamburger-esque, is that a word? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you know in the comments if I do try this with a meal that um, they mention. I don't have any chocolate, so I can't try with chocolate. But nevertheless, I'm enjoying this. And if you are enjoying this along with me, again, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and go. But I just want to remind you all that as you are going through your wine journey, whether you're in the beginning, the middle, or you have got your certifications, just never forget that wine is an experience in a glass. Never forget the feeling that it gives you when you're drinking it not just when you're drinking it by yourself but when you're hanging out with your girls or with your loved ones just think about all the good memories that you have over a glass of wine so until next time loves peace